What's mm -hmm. next? Sure. You got it. Got it. Well then. Understood. Will do. That's the way. Will be a masterpiece. Uh, all right. Why not? Something you need. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blasted armor. Yes! Yes! We've done it! Dear, I don't know how to thank you. Without you, we never would have made this. Just stay safe. Will I meet you in Everlight? I still need those allies you promised me. Yes, and you'll get them. Just meet me in the Tiara's Grace District once you get there and we'll talk. Keep moving, everyone. We're crossing the border. Well, I have to say this was nothing short of incredible. Are you sure you don't want to stay and fight with us? For now, those queen lovers might be gone, but they'll be back. I'm afraid I can't. Well, I could have guessed. Anyway. I need to get back to my men. Farewell, stranger. You just made Iskander a little brighter. Need something? Hmm. Just give the word. Time to go, Mr. Architect. You can call me John. I think I'll stick with Architect for now. Fine. Will I have the honor of knowing your name? Just call me Tahar. You're a weird one, Tahar, aren't you? You have no idea. Yes? Yes? Nortander, Iskander, Utran, all the same. This way, right? Understood.
will do. We're being attacked! Did you say something? So, what's the plan? Of the few refugees who make it to Everlight, many are shocked to find that their troubles do not end there. Though its neutrality as a city-state left it largely unscathed during the Mage Wars, the city has its own mountain of problems to struggle with. The biggest ones being the ever-growing gap between the rich and the poor, an uncontrollable rise in crime, and the purity of light's aggressive crusade for new followers. All right. Everlight is just a few minutes up ahead. Let's go look for Clara first. She said she'd meet us in Tiara's Grace. Now would you look at that. Interesting. Let's see.
To Har? Hmm? This dream you've told me about on our way to Farland's Hope. The one you've been having since your childhood? I've been thinking about it. Have you? Yes. These strange, human-like puppets you see in it. They might be a way of your mind telling you that there's an aspect about your flesh, your body, which you haven't come to understand yet. Where did you get that? Well, becoming a light mage involves a lot of introspection and journeying into one's mind. But then again, dreams are enigmatic. Everlight. I didn't think I'd set foot in here again so soon. Have you been here before? A long time ago, yes. That was still during the wars. It looked quite different at that time. I can imagine. It's certainly massive. Not even Finn and Mir comes close to that. Wrong place, wrong time, friend. <laughs> 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 Yes. Wait, you there. Yes, you. Could you spare a moment? Me? Yes. You're military, aren't you? You must be. I can tell by the way you're walking. Former military, yeah. Why do you ask? Well... I don't know how to say this, but I could really use your help. My daughter, Rosa. She didn't come back from the river last noon. Now, she was always a stubborn child. But it's been over a day now, and that doesn't seem like her at all. I'd go look for myself, but as you can see, my legs don't work like they should anymore. Sorry, sir, but I don't have the time. I... I understand. Well, come back if you change your mind. I know I cannot offer you anything in return, but... Rosa... She's the world to me. Sure. Hold it right there. What's your business in this city? You one of the refugees? There's been an awful lot lately. Has there? Aye. Just last night a whole carriage of them arrived here. And you let them in? Those I did, yep. But that's because that woman leading him claimed to know Farlan, the mayor. Didn't believe her at first, but she wouldn't let it go and asked us to send word to him. Well, so that we did. Turned out she was right. The mayor asked to let him in at once and gave him a roof to sleep under. Mysterious world, isn't it? Well, I'm not a refugee. <laughs> you know what? I even believe you. And what's your business? I'm looking for work. Cell sword, are you? Huh. Well, then I suggest you go talk to old Ramsey. He's in charge of the militia. He might have some work for you. Go on inside. Just behave yourself and you'll be fine. No, Penelope. You cannot do this to me. He loudly screamed, full of pain and anguish. Penelope softly cast him a mournful glance. Her eyes dreamily drifted off towards the merciless and cold winter sky. But I have to, she silently whispered, full of remorse. Her tender breath tenderly caressed his haggard cheekbones, mockingly. My heart beats with yearning when I see her sweet and lovely face. For you, oh, my former beloved, my feelings resemble the deepest depths of the deep sea of dreams, but alas, I am still young. I want my heart aflame, burning brightly like the fires of Zarek. She, 
Oh, my former beloved is the spark that shall kindle my desires. A bitter tear bitterly flowed down Bartechius's face, as if slyly commenting on his endless, horrible suffering. The wind howled mourningly in the distance. A storm would come. If that is your wish, oh, beloved, Bartechius vigorously ejaculated, full of loving acceptance. Then I shall accept it, for I know that true love knows no malice, no jealousy. True love knows love, and love only. Ceremonially, he boldly knelt down in front of her and took her soft and tender hand into his equally soft and tender hands. Zestfully, he said, I shall wait for you. I shall wait for you. Go, O oh lovely Penelope, go and give this sweet woman you desire all the love you can muster. Make her heart rejoice in fierce passion like a sun-kissed red cherry. I shall wait, and when the sun stops shining and the stars long have died, I shall still do so. For now, you too, O oh sweet Penelope, are my former beloved. Goodbye. Hmm, what is it? What was that? What did you just read? That was an excerpt from my novel, The Shackles of Desire. Do you like it? You should cut back on the adverbs a little. What? No! I need to communicate what my characters are feeling. What do you think the readers are? Telepaths? In a book, there's only the writing that can carry information unlike in the plays. But who am I even talking to? It's obvious you're a simpleton. Just move along, will you? I have hearts to kindle. Would you look at that? Uh, there you are. I was wondering when you'd show up. I came as fast as I could. Where are the villagers? In a safe place. Not the most beautiful part of this city, but it'll do. For now. Ah, and I sent Ralph to an apothecary. Despite the fire nettle, his cramps have gotten worse. I see. How was the rest of the journey? Well, since you made short work of the General's army, it was almost relaxing. Thanks again. I'm not the most pious of persons, but that the Harbinger sent you, of all people, was a true blessing. I only wish we hadn't lost so many people. I know you did your best, but... There's gonna be a lot of grieving in the next moons. Damn that crazy general! What did we do to him? Nothing. Either way, that's not why you're here, right? You kept your promise, and I'll keep mine. Allies? Does that mean you'll introduce me to those friends of yours? Yes. In fact, I've already told him about you. His name is Philan Argo, the mayor of this city. You're friends with Everlight's mayor? Well, friends is a big word. Let's just say that he still owed me a favor. Will he meet with me? Yes. Just go to his house and tell the guard that you're sent by Clara Farlin. She'll let you in. So... I guess this is where we part ways, isn't it? It was a pleasure, Tahar. Thank you for everything. Likewise. What will you and your people do now? Play it by ear, I suppose. 
That's what I've always been good at. Yes, dear? Sure. Understood.
interesting. He rattled the dwarf full of gold, saved by the crowd who was told not to trust dwarves and behold, shady pirates boarding for some sunken mold. Corporal? That wasn't a particularly good poem. Rats with their hairy, ugly butts. They gnawed on our nuts, dangling dead between our legs. But maybe we fend them off next. Let's see. That wasn't a particularly good poem. Rats with their hairy, ugly butts. They gnawed on our nuts. Dang- This blasted elf, he just won't shut his trap. What's wrong? He's been citing poems for days. They don't make sense and they are horrendous. Someone should either pay him to leave, or show him we don't want him here. That wasn't a particularly good poem. Rats with their hairy... They gnawed on our dangling dead between our legs. But maybe we fend them off next. Would you You're look an at that? adventurer, aren't you? Come, take a look. I'm sure I've got something that might spark your interest. Got it. That way?
All right, why not? to get moving. Interesting. State your business. Whose house is that? If you have to ask, you sure as heck don't belong here. Sod off. State your business. Clara Farland sent me. Huh. The description fits. Fine, go on in. Argyll is waiting for you. As a free city, Everlight's leadership is not chosen by the right of blood, but elected by the town's nobility. The most recent mayor, Fulan Argyll, has been in power for over seven years now, and is known for his endeavors to drastically reduce crime. Would you look at that? <laughs> Blasted armor. Let's see. Well, well, if it isn't the notorious betrayer's child. I always wondered what you looked like. I had something different in mind. I'm Fulan Argyll, mayor of Everlight. Pleased to make your acquaintance. But let us cut to the chase, shall we? Clara has told me you're looking for an ally. One that can help you put an end to the blood burn. What else did she tell you? Not much I didn't already know who you are, and your involvement in the Mage Wars. And before you say any more, I don't want to know. You don't? No. The less I know, the less dangerous our cooperation is for me. Also, I fully trust Clara's judgment. If she thinks you're worthy of our support, then so do I. For a simple village mayor, Clara has a lot of friends in high places. Simple village mayor? Is that who she is now? Amusing. Well, who is she? Someone who was once very powerful but decided to quit. That's all I can tell you without her consent. So, can you help us? I believe I can. Let me introduce you to the Wayfarers. Come on in. Tahar, this is Rowan, leader of the Wayfarers, one of the most able mercenary groups on EO. 
Rohan? Tahar. Tiara's breath. I... take it you were acquainted already? We... This man used to be my father's right hand during the Mage Wars. He was the one who told him of my plans to leave the Rebels. Hmm... Interesting. Don't act so surprised, Argyll. You knew of my past. And you also know that I'm the only reason this war is over. If I hadn't told the Crown of Asamo's attack on the Keep, he would have won. So yes, Tahar, you're right. I told Asamo about your betrayal. But ever since then, I've tried to repent. <sighs> Look, you're angry. And after what I did, you have all the right to be. But this is not the time for discussion. You need an ally, and we are all you're going to get. So, please, let us just put this behind us, even if it's just for now. Let us, let the Wayfarers help you. Who in the blazes are the Wayfarers? Mercenaries, as Argyll said. I founded them right after the war. Mercenaries? Yes. But that's just how we pay for our shelter and our food. Most of the time, the Wayfarers are helping people. Refugees, farmers, homeless. We're protecting those who the Crown has forgotten. Very poetic. And how do I know you're telling the truth? He is. Thanks. Look, Tahar, I know I messed up. I served a monster for over six years of my life. But I regret it. And I'm trying to make amends. Hmm. So you warned the Royal Army of the attack? Yes. It took me some time to realize how rotten our movement had become. But when I did, I acted. Just like you. But please. I can tell you all about this, but not now. Not here. So, this army of yours, what can you offer? Knowledge, tactics, swords. Whatever it is you and the Harbinger need to end the Bloodburn, we'll help you. I can't afford an army of mercenaries. I'd have to ask the Purity for support first. You don't. I will cover all the expenses. You? Why? As I said, I owe Clara. Also, it's not as if my wealth and my power protect me from the Bloodburn, do they? Clara has a lot of faith in you, and even though I'm skeptical about the Purity's involvement in your mission, I trust Clara's judgment. Fine, but we'll have a lot to talk about, Rohan. Yes, I know. Well, that's settled then. But as much as I appreciate your presence, I would like you, Rohan, to hear, and your soldiers, to leave this city as soon as possible. An army this size of the Wayfarers will draw the Royal Army's attention sooner or later. And that's something neither of us want to happen. You're right. Goodbye then, Argyll, and thank you for your help. It has been my pleasure. next just give the word
Understood. What do you want me to do? We need to protect him. And you're the only one who can, please. This is my baby boy we are talking about. Just don't do this. I wish I could, madam, but my hands are tied. I cannot afford to work for free, and you know that as much as I do. Your boy will have to find someone else to help him. Fine. I get it. All this lofty talk of yours is just a charade, isn't it? You're doing it for the money. That's not... Rot in the claws of Nor Hagar. We're done. What was that about? What did she want from you? Oh, you mean... Uh, nothing. Just an armor. For her baby boy? I... Ah, God damn it. Say, who are you? You look like military, but you're not wearing a crest. Former military. Ah, a veteran. All right then. I hope I don't regret this, but my gut tells me you people are good folk. I'm helping people. Mages. How? Well, it's not a secret that this new cult, the Purity of Light, is out for blood. Yes, here in Everlight, it isn't by far as bad as in Greyfell. But still... There's a lot of hatred going around. Just two moons ago, a young mage, a woman, was kidnapped and found dead in the river two days later. You'd have to be quite deluded to not see how messed up that is. So I decided to help. I've lived in Everlight all my life and know every rat's hole and alley. And my profession allows me to move in and out of the city without arousing suspicion. I think I see where this is going. You're smuggling mages out of the city. Yes. I guess that's what I do. That's noble. <sighs> Don't say that. It's what every servant of Tiara should do. Are you a mage too? Huh, if I were, I would have left that city long ago. No, I'm not. I just like to think of myself as a man who doesn't stand by and watch while things like the purity happen. Can't these mages just go on their own? In theory, yes. Everlight's a free city. But there's mage haters everywhere. Also among the guard and the scouts, and if someone finds out they've left, well, outside the walls, they are fair game. So an escape needs to be meticulously planned. I see. So what exactly did that woman want? She seemed worried about her son. Yeah, it's a tragic story. Her boy is gifted, their neighbors found out, and now she's rightfully worried. Thing is, I'm out of money, and the, uh, transfers aren't exactly cheap. I have horses to pay, the ferryman, and guards to bribe. She wants me to help her for free, and as much as I'd like to, I hardly have enough money to run that smithy here anymore. And also, ever since those two mage brothers disappeared, other mages have become reluctant to seek my help. Mage brothers? I... I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure we should continue this conversation, really. I, I've already told you way too much. Maybe we can help. You? But, uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> Ellen's reigns. Don't be an idiot. We're mages, too, and if we'd wanted to sell you out, we would have done it by now. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's make this brief. Five days ago, two brothers, both of them mages, showed up in my smithy and asked to be smuggled out of the city. They paid in advance, and I made all the arrangements. But the night the escape should have taken place, they simply didn't show up. That's odd. Yeah, well, actually I think I know what happened. The Sacred Purifier, as he styles himself. I'm guessing he's from the Purity. Actually not. Or at least not to my knowledge. He has his lackeys, but he mainly works on his own. Who is he and what does he do? Some kind of vigilante. I have no idea why he does what he does, but he and his people kidnap mages and torture them for days. Then when he has broken them entirely, he gouges their eyes out, kills them, and leaves their bodies out in the open for everyone to see. Uh, Helen's reigns. You seem to know a lot about him. How? Everyone in Everlight knows about him. Only a week ago they found another mutilated body. Thing is, he's only killing mages. 
so the guards' attempts to find him and put him to justice have been half-hearted at best. And do you think he's taken your clients? Yes. They told me someone was out for them, and the pattern fits. Had it simply been a bunch of brawlers, their bodies would have been found by now. How much time did they have left? Well, as I said, it was five days ago that they disappeared. The purifier kills on the seventh day, so things aren't looking too bright. We'll find them. Any idea where the purifier might have taken them? Wait, you... This man is dangerous. You know that, right? Otherwise, I would have taken steps myself already. We can handle ourselves. Trust me. Ah, uh, well, uh... I don't feel good about this, but fine. I've investigated a little, and according to a traveler, a, a man who fits the description of the purifier has been seen in a camp in the Everlight outskirts. Did you tell the guard about this traveler? No, because as I said, there are lots of people in Everlight who sympathize with him, even in the guard. If I told them, it's possible they'd simply tell him to move. Blazes. Is it really that bad? Maybe not, but I can't afford to take any risks. It's better to know where the wolf is hiding. All right. I'll see what I can do. And thank you. For doing what you do, I mean. Well, you're the ones taking on the murdering psychopath. The brothers you're looking for are tall. Brown hair, brown eyes, and in their early thirties. They are twins, so you won't have trouble identifying them. I'll be waiting here. Sacred Purifier. That's just messed up. We'll deal with him. Sounds like a plan. the way. I'll keep you shielded! More fighting. Does this never end? You read my mind. Fair enough. Let's do this. You got it. There. That might be the Purifier's camp. Yeah. Let's hope the Mage Brothers are still alive. <laughs> Blasted armor. Uh-huh. That's the 
twins. Shit. I know you are here. What do you want? You should choose your words carefully. You're blind. I am. Are you the sacred purifier? That's what Aenir named me, yes. You came here for the twins, I take it. They are dead. They did not withstand my trials. I believe Joseph put them into that cage over there, in case you would like to convince yourself. Blazes. So you're killing in the name of the purity? The purity? No. I kill for purity. I do not know much about this Rondar Lacane and his servants, and it does not matter, because soon my time on this world will end. What do you mean? I mean what I said. It was never Aenir's will for me to live a long life. He has chosen me for his task, and I have now almost purified forty-seven people. Just as much time as my miserable shell has spent on this world. What by me half are you talking about? I have been blind since birth. All the colors, all the shapes, all the joys of this world. I could not see them. For years and years, I considered my disability a curse. I hated the guardians. I hated the old father. I hated my mother for giving birth to me. And it was only one year ago that the All-Father spoke to me and that I finally understood. What did you understand? That you have to gouge out people's eyes? Yes. I understood that blemishes like my lack of vision are not a curse, but a punishment. You see, my mother was a whore. She was twisted, impure, sinful, and left me right after I was born. It was a miracle I survived that long. My scourge is the result of my mother's corruption. You mean you're blind because your mother was a whore? Yes, and it is the same with every blemish, including magic. They are a reminder of our father's and mother's failures. So the All-Father offered me a bargain. The only way to save the blemished is to purify them, the way I do. Pain, suffering, and ultimately death. If I were to do this on 47 sinners, the same as the number of years my wretched shell has lived on this world, I would be able to purify myself. I don't get it. Even if what you said was true, why would you kill the children of the sinners instead of the sinners themselves? It's not their fault they were born that way. You are naive, stranger. There is no fault and no guilt in Aenir's deeds. Yes, these people did not choose to be the way they are. But it does not change their nature. A dog does not choose to go feral, yet it needs to be removed. But why do you gouge out your victim's eyes? Why would Aenir want that? It is my mark. I am the one Aenir chose to liberate them, so I inflict them with the same blemish that defines me. It is only logical. Well, not really. Purify yourself? Do the same to me that I have done to them. Yes. My body is only an instrument, stranger. And the day that it is no longer needed, it shall be discarded. All right. You will kill no more people. This ends here and now. That was my plan all along. Joseph. Hawk. Kill them. <laughs> Focus, area. Focus. Huh? Damn it! I need healing. You'll regret this. 
this. Corporal? Sounds like a plan. What do we need? Mm hmm. Would you look at that? Sure. We'll do. We're back. So, did you find him? Yes. He's dead. But so are the mages. Blazes. I... I knew this would happen. Oh, god damn it. Well, at least you put this bastard to justice. Listen, Haggard. The political situation in Everlight isn't gonna get better anytime soon. And it's more than likely that someone will get behind what you're doing. I found out, and it wasn't hard. I'm actually looking for a capable smith. You? But what about the mages here in Everlight? They will still need help, but you can't help them if you're dead. Back in my camp, we're mages too, and we'll do everything to keep them safe. I... That's not a decision I can make on the spot, friend. Oh, let me think about it, will you? Where can we meet should I decide to join you? I have a scout stationed here in Everlight. Just talk to him once you've made up your mind. Think about it. I will. You're back. Hmm. This way, right?
Yes? Yes? Uh-huh. You got it. They will fall. All right, here goes nothing. Don't move here. That way? Danger up ahead. Interesting.
sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Let's do this. You'll regret this. Let's see. I'm paying my respect. You got it. Uh, all right, why not? Sure. That way? Sure. This way, right? Will do. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Blasted armor. You got it.
that's the way. Why not? 